cruelest realities is that of a person vanished without a trace. This is the story of a little girl lost. On April 14, 1755, the eldest Key's daughters were sent to the pond with their four-year-old sister Lucy trailing behind. They sent her home on her own when they realized she followed and she was never seen again. Lucy's mother Martha was tormented by her disappearance. Martha called for Lucy for nights in the woods until she died in 1786. Lucy's fate remains forever a mystery despite one confession of her murder by a man named Tilly Littlejohn. Some say that you can still hear her calling out for Lucy in the mountains nearby, and you may catch Martha's spirit weeping at the Meeting House Cemetery in Princeton, Massachusetts. Caught on Nest Cam. I am out of town. Girlfriend is asleep downstairs. What should I do? This video I'm about to play should serve as an example to not use a Ouija board unless you know what you're doing. I'm gonna roll the clip right now. Just one more question. Just one more, you promise? I promise. Come on. Just one more. This will be it, I promise. Well, I can't say that because I'm not doing it. What do you want me to ask? Just ask it if it's going to harm y'all or if it means harm or something. I don't know. It's a freaking evil spirit show. Of course it means harm. Well, just I'm just it. saying. It's just ask question. it. Do you mean that's any harm? Ah, uh, no. This guy right here was playing with his dog when all of a sudden the door slammed out of nowhere and you can clearly see nobody was behind the door. I'm gonna roll the clip right now. Peta, also known as the Italian bride, died in 1921 while giving birth to a stillborn son. She was then buried with her wedding dress. But after her death, her mother started having dreams in which Julia kept saying that she's alive and needed help. After six years, her mother got permission to have Julia's body exhumed. The coffin was somewhat decomposed, but surprisingly, Julia's body wasn't. Why Julia's body hadn't decayed much following the burial has never been explained. Have you ever heard of the Whaley House? This house is located in San Diego and was built in 1857. But the site that the house was built on was actually formerly the site of San Diego's first gallows. This is of course the perfect backstory for some good old fashioned hauntings. Right after moving in, Thomas Whaley reported that he could hear the footsteps of Yankee Jim Robinson. Jim Robertson had actually been hanged at the gallows just four short years before this house was built. After moving into this house, the Whaley family began experiencing a ton of family tragedies. And the spookiest part is that many of these family tragedies actually occurred inside of the house. So naturally, the house is now, of course, a museum. 
Many people still report having paranormal experiences that are often accompanied by the smells of perfume and cigar smoke. Visit if you dare. Like and follow for a part three. Have you ever heard of the lady who haunts Raynham Hall? Raynham Hall is located in England and was built in the 1620s. The story behind this haunting goes all the way back to the house's previous owners, Lady Dorothy Townsend and her husband, Viscount Townsend. Their nicknames were Turnip and Dolly, so it's really hard to believe that they have a dark story, but they do. Apparently, Turnip kept Dolly locked in the house. And apparently he didn't even treat her nicely, not that that would make keeping her locked up acceptable. The story goes that after her passing, she decided to stick around and haunt the house, and truly who could blame her? This is said to be a photo of her ghost that comes from the 1930s, and apparently it's never been proven to be a fake, so all you photo experts out there, I want to see your comments below. Make sure you like and follow for a part four. This girl behind me was filming a TikTok home alone when she discovered something terrifying in the background after reviewing the video later. I'm going to roll the clip and show you what I'm talking about right now. My last video was about back roads and this one is no different. When you're taking back roads in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, I can't really say you don't deserve it. This group of guys decided to take a shortcut, but what they encountered would probably justify never again going out at night. Take a look. Oh my god! What is this? Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Now what's very interesting is that the few videos I have done where manifestations happen in this way, where you can clearly see a shadow is being casted by the apparition from the headlights, lets you know something is definitely there, which makes it either really unlikely or whatever stopped them is really trying to warn them from going any further. scary things found on the dark web. A game called Sad Satan was launched in 2015. It was described as a horror game with black and white visuals of ghost children. The soundtrack consisted of interviews from famous serial killers like John Wayne Gacy and Charles Manson. There were uncomfortable parts with Nazi and satanic imagery and disturbing messages about child abuse. After playing the game, some people had to delete it after how they felt about it. People started to get freaked out when there were actual illegal images of minors in the game. People believe the game was made from the police to catch criminals or a tool to recruit cults. Whatever you do, do not play this game. Hey, are you into the paranormal and like to see ghost pictures? Well, if so, I got one for you. This picture is legit. It has not been circulated through TikTok, hasn't been circulated through Facebook or YouTube. You're seeing it now for the first time. Here's a little backstory. So I got this picture sent to me by a hunter, a hunter of animals. He put this trail cam up in the, the canyon that we're near, and this is what he caught. So this is the picture. It is 5.47 p.m. on 10-12 of 2020. What do you guys think? Let's Google where the most haunted places in the country are. And to my surprise, the sinister story of Rita Road occurred only a few hours away. I still cannot explain what happened at that road. Legend says that Rita Road was a hot spot for the Indiana mob to dispose of bodies in the 1930s. Nobody knows what is left behind in this one. And even more chilling, residents claim to encounter hitchhikers who resemble confirmed victims, begging to go to the nearby cemetery. Within 30 minutes of being at Rita Road, we received a missing persons alert, as well as saw a woman mysteriously walk directly out of the swamp. What is actually happening in this place? She literally just walks straight out of there. There's nothing here. Like for a part two and we'll do a spirit box at the cemetery.